Again, that was Pafua Yang reporting. Now, over the weekend, this 2023 VEX Robotics World Championship wrapped up in Dallas. 14 teams from Minnesota competed, and we have the results on how some of our local school districts did. ABC6 News anchor Devin Martin joins me live in the studio now to share with us how the Adams Southland Rebels team did over the competition. Devin. Hey, Jesse. Well, I got to do it again, right? Yep. These are the droids you're looking for. I'm hypnotized. Do you think that worked? I think it did. Good. Because I'm hypnotized Good. now. I'm like, yes, <laughs> these are the droids I'm looking for. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Southland Robotics team did compete. Mm -hmm. um, and so did another school, the Aubrey Lee Senior High School, which is really right. cool. And we're so proud of those teams. They did so many great things. And these kids are hard workers. And when they competed in Texas, they truly made Minnesota proud. We'll take a look at this video that we have here. You can see the kids here are smiling and having a good time. Now, Southland High sent two teams. Over 800 teams competed and were all broken down into divisions. Each division had about 80 teams. The Southbots team ranked at number seven with eight wins and two losses. The Roverbots team ranked at number 56 with four wins and six losses. These kids soaked in every moment and had a great time. Now next year, they do plan to go back. We're hoping to make a lot of new changes. It'll be a lot of new uh, challenges that we have to overcome. And I think it'll be a really interesting year. And their teacher and mentor, Paula Mortensen, is excited to see what these, is excited to see what these kids achieve next year. She says the sky is the limit. Both of our high school teams had some of the highest scoring rounds the entire uh, tournament. And so that was pretty proud to watch them so that other people could see what they are capable of. And the Southland Rebels proved that they can go all the way. The Albert Lee Senior High School team, the Broken Zip Ties, also competed. They earned the rank of number 39 with five wins and five losses. And just, I mean, over 800 teams competed. Wow. So it's so cool to see how well they did in each division. And to see that there's also like room, room for improvement. So next year, they're gonna fine tune, they're gonna fine -tune those robots, see what they could do next year, mm -hmm. see what different trinkets they could add to it, yeah, well, and just I'm have curious. fun along the way. I'm curious to see what the new game's gonna be. I, I know. I haven't heard from the Albert Lee team yet, but I kinda wanna ask and just, I'm excited for them. It's so exciting to <laughs> it's do so these cool. stories. It's so, it's so cool to see like right. what those robots can do. Cause I know if we tried to build a robot, mm -hmm. I don't even think it would move. I don't think it would move, but you know, these <laughs> robotics teams are always encouraging new students to get involved. You don't need any prior mechanic or coding experience, I believe uh, that Coach Egner told me. So if you're interested in robotics, definitely sign up, see if your school has a team. Yeah, always good advice. Thanks, Jesse.